Welcome to Brick's CAD Shape in 10 minutes or less. Starting here with a simple 2D profile, key in some dimensions, and create a solid body. Shape works in solids. Now, you can be accurate if you want. You don't have to be. You can be random. It's okay. The idea is to capture your concept design in a solid form that we can use to move forward to building information modeling. Super easy. Select any surface. Use the manipulator to copy, rotate, move that surface. Take any existing edge, any boundary, offset it and use it to drive new solids. Let's split this extrusion up into four separate faces. Two walls, a roof, and a floor slab. Done. Now, next step will be to create the end caps or the two outside walls of our building space. Quickly drop those in. And now let's use simple 2D geometry to drive a cutout in the front of the building. This will be the entryway. All right. Let's hide that profile. And let's create a wall segment here in the front. We'll use the poly solid command. Why? Well, because it has multiple uses. In this case, we'll use it to simply drag out a wall profile, snap to existing geometry to get the height, and then run that face up against the next face. Select the front edge of the slab as a new boundary and drag it out to create the floor slab for the entryway. Hiding the visibility on the roof. It's easy to change the way that these wall segments come together, bevel or butt. By using butt, we'll simply extract that top profile and create the floor slab for the first floor. Again, we'll drive those edges to the next solid face. And our floor is done. Let's take a look inside our building. Now, the boundary that's been created at the intersection of the end wall and the upper floor wall is now something we can use to create a room partition. So working in solids is, is really intuitive, guys. It's a great way to get your idea captured right now. Let's get started working on the roof structure for this building. We're going to use existing geometry, offset some faces, thicken them, and now create the profile for the roof structure. We'll create a 2D profile here that represents the beams that will run across the roof. And then we'll copy and array those beams to complete our first segment. Let's select those first five elements and again use the manipulator to rotate them down into position. Just slide the manipulator to any geometric point in your model. It will attach there and it becomes a new handle to move, copy, or rotate from. Same thing here. Let's copy those last four beam segments and then select these guys and use the manipulator to rotate them down into final position. Awesome. Now let's put some blocking in between these B 
beams on the end. We'll create one and then again use object snaps to replicate them across the model. Turn the rest of the building back on. Let's select that roof geometry and then make short work of completing the structure. And then finally we'll copy that structural frame down to the end of the model. Hmm. Pretty nice. I think I like it. Uh, looks like we might have an issue here. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that those beams all have to be extended. The ability to select all planar faces, all similar faces, and perform all of those stretch commands of those beam elements in one simple move, one simple selection set. Very powerful tool in BricsCAD shape. Select same, select similar. Let's just create a polyline snapping off of existing geometry. This is going to represent the uh, outer roof covering. With that polyline in place, you can simply use the extrude command to thicken it and change the thickness of the roof. And now, since that roof is made of a translucent material, we might want to change the material assignment so we can actually see through the roof. We'll then select the wall elements, change their material type, And then finally, let's select all of the structural elements and assign a wood texture to them. Awesome. Next step, select the beams. We want to change the profile from a rectangle to a standard structural I-beam. We'll search for the range of shapes we want to use and then simply drag and drop that shape onto the beam elements and they convert to I-beam profiles that are actually stored in the database. So that data will move to BIM very quickly super easy to slice into our model using the view manipulation tools in bricks CAD shape standard componentry includes furniture of course any 3d block can be added to that catalog and you can import models from tools like sketchup bring your geometry in position it accurately if you wish change its location rotation with the manipulator tool and in a matter of less than 10 minutes we've captured a concept we have started to detail that concept for visualization and potential approval and here's the best part this model will move directly into BricsCAD BIM it is a drawing. It's stored in a DWG file. It loads into BIM with the open command. And then very quickly, tools like BIMify and BIM Connect will allow you to very quickly create a finished building information model from which you can extract construction drawings and documentation. BricsCAD shape in 10 minutes or less. Download it free today on Brixis.com.